Check it out guys. This is my fishing cave. Now as a bona fide angler, I've accumulated quite a bit of gear over my years. Right here in this corner, we've got my rod collection. Then on the table, we have all of my reels that I own, minus a uh, couple spinning reels. Check them out, bask in their glory. And on the ground, we have an assortment of line, tackle, lures, hard baits, soft baits, anything you can name, it's in this room. And as an angler, there's always one thing that I have in my mind. How can I improve? So today, we're gonna work on that using this box right here. Inside this box are five to eight baits that I've never used before. To make this challenge even a little more tough, I'm gonna be choosing a lake, pond, river, or creek that will be chosen at random. So right here, we have a list of 20 locations and we're gonna spin the roulette wheel to uh, see where I end up. Where are we gonna fish at today? It looks like it's gonna be the, ooh, the Northeast River. That's gonna be a tough one. Here we are, the Northeast River. A uh, pretty big body of water. As you can see, uh, most people fish here on their boats, but unfortunately, I do not own a boat. So we're stuck on the bank, but it's all good. We've got a row of dock pilings over there, and we have a riprap bank over that way. It's gonna be tricky, but not impossible. Before we get started, let's go ahead and check the tide chart, since anytime you're fishing a river, it's important to know what the tides are doing. And it looks like we are just about at high tide. It's about to start falling, which is not my preferred tide for fishing the bank, but can't control that. Let's see what we got to fish with today. First up, we've got a Rattler made by Kahara. We've got a Jig made by Zorro, a Booza brush bug, nice black and blue color. And these are some very, very unique hooks. Um, are these, oh, these are drop shot slash live bait slash finesse hooks. I have never before seen that design ever in my life. Ooh, this looks interesting. We have a four inch Simmer Shad made by uh, Catchco. And it actually looks really, really realistic. This will be a very nice drop shot bait to try out here. We've also got a pack of KVD's Perfect Plastics. This is the Dream Shot bait, I believe. And these are actually really, really good on a drop shot rig as well. And last but not least, we have a, another very unique looking bait. I've never seen a blade like that. This is a Cambio Spin spinner bait. Nice white color imitates a shad. And, oh, sorry, one more thing. A pack of drop shot weights. Since it's relatively early in the morning, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this uh, rat here and see if there's any topwater bite. This uh, mouse bait actually looks really, really good. Nice color pattern, soft plastic, sharp hooks. The only thing I'm gonna modify is uh, the skirt. I feel is a little bit too long. I don't wanna be getting any short strikes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the bait upside down like this and I'm gonna cut the skirt on par with the uh, line tie right here. Let's see if any bass are hungry for a little mouse treat. Oh, there's one, yes. That's how we start the morning off. Right along that riprap. Uh, let's land this guy. There we go. This is one warm fish, skinny too. Here you go. Number one, that was, uh, that was pretty quick. I've been fishing for about 15 minutes and I figured if I started by the riprap, there might be a couple bass feeding on crawfish. And even though this is a topwater bait, a uh, opportunistic feeder like a bass isn't gonna pass up an easy meal. Seeing how active that bass was earlier this morning, I think we need to stick with the moving style baits. And I believe we have one left. And that would be this spinner bait right here. Cambio spin. Change, evolution, new concept. Huh. I wonder uh, what's new about it. Let's go ahead and read on the back. And, oh. All right, nice. I won't be able to read what's new due to the text being written in Japanese. But if I look at the picture, it looks like uh, they're pointing to the blade shape and they're pointing to the hook shank. They're also pointing to the uh, wires of the arm. Huh, this is interesting. So I'm tying this bait on. 
and the first thing I notice about this bait is that this wire arm is extremely flexible. It's like, look, you can like pretty much bend it in half. I don't even know if it's made of wire. Oh, well, it is made of wire, but extremely flexible wire. And what that's actually going to do, I already know for a fact, is that's going to allow this bait to vibrate a lot more violently, make a lot more commotion. And it's also going to improve the hookup ratio, I believe. Once I set the hook and that fish is thrashing around, this bait will probably move with the fish's, uh, wherever the fish jumps or dodges or whatever, and keep him pinned. And it has a couple barbs right here for keeping on the keeper grub, which I won't need. But nice white shad pattern. I'm feeling good about it. Oh no. Uh oh. That's not good, guys. Oh, please get this bait back. Dang it, guys. That sucks. You know what? Screw it, guys. It's too early in the day to be losing a $12 spinner bait. I'm getting that sucker. Operation, no lure left behind, commence. Oh man, I hope it's not too deep in here. Oh man, oh no, it's slippery. Oh, jeez. What the hell is so slippery? Oh, it's not too bad over here. Ooh. Oh. That's easier than I thought. All right, that wasn't too bad, actually. We ain't losing a $12 spinner bait today. I learned two things from that little mission. Number one, it's not that deep 10 feet out. So this tide is falling, we need to really catch some fish in the next hour or two hours or so. And number two, going in the water this summer feels pretty good. All right, back in action. Bait better catch me a freaking five pounder after all that. Hmm. That is the third dead catfish I've seen in the water right there. That is not a good sign for the uh, oxygen levels in here, in my opinion. Oh my gosh. Gotta check this out. What? It's a uh, dead blue crab right here. Look at that guy. Dang. Should have brought my crab layers. Look at that. That's cool. Found some bait here. Now where are the bass? Where are you guys at? Right there, another dead crab. I've seen two dead crabs, three dead catfish, and one dead bass. So there's obviously some type of issue going on around here. I think the uh, roulette wheel might have turned me astray choosing this location. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's big. Oh my God. Holy jeez. It hit it like a freight train. I knew he'd be here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please let me land this fish. No, 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 don't run, don't run. Set the drag, set the drag. Nice and easy, girl. No, 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 don't, no, don't do that, please. Oh, I see her. Oh, she's a beauty. Let's go. What is that? What is that? I think she's hooked. Oh, no, don't, don't move like that. Oh yeah, it's like, oh, it's a catfish. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's a freaking catfish. Ah, better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Hey, I'll tell you what though, these catfish put up a heck of a fight. Oh, you slimy little critter. Come here. Come here, you. Open your mouth. Bite my finger, I dare you. Go ahead, bite it. Bite it. Whew, that's a nice looking channel cat. No, oh, my freaking god. Ah, no, no. <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. So, what just happened was, the hook on this bait just broke off. And, I don't know, that's not a good sign. I was really liking this bait too, but uh, it looks like the durability is definitely suspect. Next up, we've got the Booza Brush Hog. And when I'm fishing a jig, I'm not looking for anything fancy, I'm just looking for good components. Most important, I need a strong, sharp hook. And this hook, yeah, this hook ain't gonna break. And since we're fishing around rocks, the snaggiest place you could uh, probably throw this bait. A stiff weed guard would help me out a little bit. And this guy should do just fine. I'm gonna need a big hook set though to get some penetration. And I'm gonna thread on a Gambler burner crawl right here. I mean, this looks pretty good. If I was a hungry bass, I might mistaken this for either a big crawfish or even one of those blue crabs. Man, I thought for sure I was gonna pull a couple nice fish from over here. I mean, we've got the main river over that way. And to my right, we have a creek. And since the tide is outgoing, a lot of that water from the creek is gonna be flowing back into the main river. And what was supposed to happen is the bait fish are supposed to follow that flow 
And right here at the mouth of the creek, there's supposed to be a bunch of predator fish hanging out right here ready to ambush him. But, you know, the bass don't always listen to textbooks and the articles you read. So I guess we're going to have to uh, find them somewhere else. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Oh, something big and sharp down there, guys. Just lost my freaking jig. On to the uh, finesse stuff, which we probably need because everything here seems to be dead. Back at the marina, these guys are doing their work. And you wouldn't really expect there to be too many bass in this dirty, gasoline-filled water. But you'd be surprised what you can finesse up. Let's see what kind of drop shot gear I've got. Time to check you out, man. Apparently these, uh, these interesting looking hooks are supposed to hold baits better so I can make more casts. And it's also supposed to hold fish better so I can land more fish. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit skeptical about this, but uh, you know, you never know unless you try. It's drop shot time. Let's see if I can finesse any out. Oh, that's a bite. He's got, oh no, he let go. Ooh, that was quick. I think that might've been a bluegill though, or a really small bass. So I'm just dropping this bait in any corner of crevice I can find right now. Nope, oh, he's got it. There we go. That was quick. But oh! Ah. Trapper hook. He's supposed to trap him. What the hell, man? So literally, right here next to the boat launch, and I just dropped it right next to the pile and got a hit. That's my fifth cast on this worm, on this drop shot rig. That's what I like to see. Oh. I got him. Got him. Got him. Oh. Hey. Well, that is a largy, a very small largy. This is uh, not what I was hoping for, I suppose, but you know, I'll take anything out of this disgusting water, I suppose. Hmm. That is unfortunate, guys. Yet another dead largy. It looks like this guy got torn apart by the crabs and crawfish. Final bait in the box, the four inch simmer shad. If I was fishing clear water, this little dude would uh, definitely be pretty deadly, but this color is uh, the color of poop. So I dyed the tail in chartreuse and we're gonna give this guy a roll. No, do you guys see that? These rocks, this is so freaking shallow. It's literally, literally gonna be low tide in less than an hour. Oh, I'll have to fish the end of the dock and hope I can get something to bite. This is uh, not looking good for me right now. Oh, gosh, why is it so freaking hard to catch one fish? Honestly, I should probably be trying to catch a crab. It'd probably be easier to do that than to catch a freaking bass out of here. Oh my god, I got something. Wait, what the f What? Are you kidding? This has got to be a joke, guys. No. 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 I got it, guys. Ah. Ah. The simmer shad. Guys, I'm counting it. MTB slam complete. Biggest fish of the day. I'm feeling like this guy's a good three pounder. Oh, yeah, look at that. 3.42. Has a little bit of bloating. Probably gave him a little bit of extra weight. Put up a good fight, buddy. You know, this is appropriate, seeing all these dead bass since I watched a new episode of Game of Thrones last night. Maybe one day there'll be uh, some bass walkers hanging around. Whew. Rest in peace, buddy. I'm sorry, boys. I'm done here. I can't do it anymore. Been out here for seven hours, caught three living fish, saw like 20 dead fish. Heat index right now is 99 degrees. And let me show you how desperate I was. The last two and a half hours, I was attempting to catch a crab with the MTB Shimmer Shad Chicken Special right here. So what I'm doing is I got a nice piece of chicken wing right here. Then I attached the Shimmer Shad for a little extra attractant, make it look like a little more lifelike, I'd say. And I've been fishing that down here near a couple pilings, but I did have one crab come up, but I missed netting it. It was uh, quite an unfortunate day.